Shad Kitchen 101. I'm going to try to catch some right quick for you guys. The shad should be spawning right now. They were spawning up on the creek the other day. May not be any out here in the middle right now, but we'll see. It needs to get wet a couple times because it's stiffer than the board. See if there's any chads around here. Yeah, let's see what I got. I got a few shad. Not much. Shad and crappie. About the right size shad though. And I'm working off a hat cam today, guys. I got five shad in that throw. Just about a good hybrid and saw guy size. I'll try her again. that time. Not a whole bunch, but I got a few. I got four more on that cast. Five more on that cast. One. Count your shad in your tank. Two. Three. Actually I got six on that cast. Normally I bring a uh, relaxing bucket with me. Since I'm fishing by myself today, I didn't bring one. I'm not looking for shad flipping because this lake is so full of shad. You don't really need to look for them flipping, you just need to know about where they hang out. Oops, had one on that cast, that's all. That makes 10. Another one of these stunted crappie. Makes crappie make real good saw guy bait. But legally, you can't fish with them if you catch them in a cast net. Come here, Shad. I need a bunch on this cast. Give me about 30. One big one. That's it. No, actually I got two. I got a pretty good size one. One good bait size one. I got 12 good baits now. Four cast. <laughs> I 
They're a little harder to catch when they're close to spawning time. They don't school up, seem to school up quite as much. That got all fouled up that time. Probably the cast I get 40 on. Yeah. You can see the results right there of that cast. And by the way, there's no such thing as too big a shad. <laughs> You want a big fish, use a big bait. Well, that was a little better bunch. Let's see if there's another bunch like that out there. Nothing that time at all. Not even one. Not even one. Well, you can see what I'm doing. I'm not going to keep the video cam running very long. Throw it one more time and I'm going to turn it off. And get my bait and then we're going to go fishing. Terrible cast. Their old net's so stiff right now it doesn't even want to open up. Should have soaked it in some fabric softener before it came. Got a shad or two. Or three. Now I'm throwing the net in about four foot of water right now. And I'm getting Good sized baits as you can see. Anyway, not hard. Come get you some. This is your roving fisherman signing off.